Hey there guys and girls, Moogly Gaming, back at another episode of GTA 5. Now today I'm going to be talking about the Lost MC, or the Lost Motorcycle Club. Now, they originated in GTA 4, the Lost and Damned, in Liberty City. Now, in GTA 5, we see one of the char uh, main characters, Johnny Kovitz, Johnny Kovitz, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his second name right, but Johnny Kovitz, um, basically, he is having a fight with, or an argument, I should say, with Trevor Phillips. Now, some of us are really, really familiar with this character, as because we played as him in GTA 4, and it was a, probably a major surprise to all the Lost MC fans, because before there was Meriwether Security, I was actually a big fan of the Lost, and it's kind of weird because... After the current events that happened in Liberty City, they just appeared in Los Santos for no reason. Now why is that? Were they trying to get away from their past that happened in Liberty City? Were they going to start fresh by selling drugs and guns? Or was it something else? Now why, why would they be in Los Santos? Well, I don't really know. But we're going to have a little look at their areas and see what's around. So first of all, there is one outpost in Liberty C or Los Santos. Now, of course, I'm in director mode, so obviously they're going to be hostile towards me, even if I'm one of them. But this is on the only one area you can find them in, in Los Santos, which is in this little area over here. And there's not that many people. There only is, like, a wee garage door you can go inside, and that's about it. And... I mean, you would have think there would have been another biker gang here because after when the he the angels of death were killed by the lost in Liberty City, you would have thought there would have been some remaining in Los Santos. Cause why would Johnny just appear in Los Santos like this? I really don't know. So let's go on to their other uh, fortress, their main fortress that is in the desert. Right, so here we, are, here we are in Stab City. Now, I don't know if the Lost named it this place, or if it was originally called Stab City. But, basically, this is basically run by the Lost MC. Now, I don't know if this is their main base of operation, but, um, in the current events, when you become Trevor, um, he immediately kills the Lost MC, ruins their base, kills their main leader, and some of the main characters from the... GTA 4 Lost and Down DLC, which was Cher uh, Terry and Jim. Terry was one of the characters who would provide a gun van with you for you. Um, basically, it would be just loaded with all kinds of guns and ammo and stuff. There is even a mod on PC or on consoles, I think, where basically you can actually have Terry uh, deliver uh, guns to you in a van, and he'll like like uh, spawn in a random location which is actually really cool and I'm surprised that we didn't actually have something similar to this in GTA 5 and the other char char character Jim who was the road captain was the guy who would provide bikes for you which was actually kind of neat so when you were in GTA 4 lost and damned or Liberty City, Liber Liberty City I mean he if you didn't have a bike or any vehicle you could just call Tim or Jim to give you a bike of whatever, and he would just deliver it to you, which was actually kind of cool. Now, obviously that they're dead because of Trevor just going on a rampage, killing them all. It was a major surprise to kill them, and I really didn't like them. But obviously it's GTA Five, so anything can happen. But there's just one thing I don't get. Why is where is one of the main characters called Agnes? He was one of the characters in The Lost and Damned who was actually in a wheelchair and basically he couldn't use a bike whatsoever. And after the events that happened in Liberty City, they basically burnt down their old or main place, that's all they did, and that was it the end of the entire story and um, basically we didn't actually get to see what was left of them so 
what I'd prefer Rockstar to do is make a Lost MC DLC story mode based on Jai Killets and the Lost. It doesn't even have to be like a long DLC. It could probably just be like a 10 mission DLC or something. Basically telling us why the Lost are in uh, LS and what they're doing. Because all we know is that Ashley, Johnny's girlfriend who was a drug addict, she really changed from GTA 4 to now because she was like in her 20s if not 30s and then when she's in GTA 5 she's like in her 50s and she's like looks really old which is really weird but then again it could have been the drugs that affected her I don't really know but you've got her you've got Johnny the main protagonist of the Lost then you've got Jim or yeah Jim and Terry who are the main helpers for Johnny Killets I feel like they could have made like a mission or two where the, the Hell's Angels were at that little outpost and they could have like taken over it or something. I don't know, I mean, I'm just blabbering on or something, but I think there's just so many unanswered questions of why the Lost are in uh, Los Santos and it would be nice to see why they were there or to know why they were there. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy this vid. It was just me muttering bullshit, really. Um, if you did enjoy this vid, please leave a like, uh, comment, saying what your thoughts are on the Lost MC. And if you're new to the channel, check out some of my older vids. And if you did enjoy them, then subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next vid. I'll see you all later.